up on 3 News at 6 mm. o'clock. Other news, TxDOT officially approved the red route for the Harbor Bridge replacement project. Brian Burns live near the bridge with reaction from those who are, well, uh, in the path of the bridge. Brian? Well, Rudy Katia, uh, as a matter of fact, it's officially known as the red alternative in government speak. And today, the Texas Department of Transportation and the Federal Highway Administration both gave their stamp of approval to the route of the $700 million bridge. Now, under the red route, the new bridge would be built about 1,000 feet west of the existing bridge where we are now. The new bridge would have three 12-foot travel lanes in each direction, a median barrier, wide inside and outside shoulders, and a 10-foot wide bicycle and pedestrian path. There were several other proposed routes, one of which would have called for the demolition of the Galvan Music Company and Ballroom at Agnes and Crosstown Expressway. The family-owned building has been there since 1949, and Bobby Galvan says he's relieved. It means a lot to, to all of us, you know, that we can stay here, uh, Brian, and we are definitely grateful that they're going to continue letting us stay and operate. Today's announcement means the state will fund more than $600 million of the cost with another $100 million or so from the city and other local sources. Now, there will be a public hearing on February 18th at the Ortiz Center and some other public input that ends on March 3rd. After that, it becomes finally official and design work will begin this year if everything goes as planned and the bridge could be completed by the year 20. 20 if everything goes well. Rudy, got you. A mere what, six years from now? That's, That's pretty like quick. not that far. That's not yeah. far away. All right, Ryan Bird's reporting live. Thanks a lot. Well,